Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Sandor here. So yeah, it's been a couple of weeks since I was able to uh, upload any videos or um, show you updates on the garden. Uh, it's just been really busy. And uh, so anyways, I got taking some time off soon. So uh, I thought I'd start today by showing you guys uh, one of the newer palms that I got. So um, uh, this is called the Bismarckia nobilis and it's endemic to uh, northern Madagascar and western Madagascar. Uh, that's just an island off of uh, the east coast, southeast coast of Africa. So um, yeah, it's just a striking palm. Uh, let me get in the sun here so you guys can really see how that silver hue pops on these fronds. And um, this is, I, I, I tell you guys all the time when I get a palm, it's one of my favorites, but this is my favorite. So um, it's just a striking palm. And uh, yeah, so it, like I said, it's uh, endemic to uh, Madagascar, the northern and western regions of that. I'll put them up a uh, map right now so you guys can actually see where it's from. And uh, I'll also throw up some uh, pictures of some larger specimens. So for a lot of you guys who uh, are not familiar with this palm, uh, I'll put up these uh, three pictures right now so you guys can see what they look like in uh, full size. So yeah, it's it's just a striking palm. Um, it's the silver hue here really pops. There is a green form that's less cold hardy, uh, but I, I prefer this one anyways um, to, for two reasons. Just like the pictures I showed you, it's just a striking palm. How how the uh, the fronds, the uh, palmate fronds, just spread out. Um, they're pretty wide. They can get up to about uh, six or more feet wide. These uh, fronds. And here's a comparison of my hand. Just in comparison to the smaller palm here. It's a good size, it's 30 gallon. Um, it reminds me a lot of the saw palmetto I got uh, with the silver hue. If you guys remember uh, a couple videos back, I, I bought this palm here and I planted it. So yeah, it's, it's quite similar in uh, color, but uh, this guy really grows. So um, I won't be planting it. Uh, this will be staying in a pot. I'll definitely uh, be repotting this. Uh, soil there it's uh, half missing and I think it's mixed in with sand uh, in the root ball so I'll uh, have to change that later on this afternoon but uh, for now I just wanted to show you guys the striking palm and uh, I'll put it like I said somewhere in the yard kind of a showpiece uh, like I said I'm not going to plant it um, these palms are just too hard to protect here in southern Ontario 5b um, I might be able to get away with it for a couple of winters but then after that uh, it's just going to get too big, uh, too tall and too wide, as you guys can tell by some of those pictures, to, uh, uh, to protect it. Now, it is, it is possible to protect it if you have the time and the patience. Uh, I got enough going on protecting those guys for the winter and, and these three guys and a couple of more guys down there. So uh, uh, less is more for me right now. And uh, our plan is to move in a couple of years anyways down to Florida. For about half the year so uh i uh i'm pretty much going to stop planting and uh putting in palms so uh the garden's pretty much complete but yeah i just wanted to show you guys the striking palm again it's a bismarckia nobilis and uh yeah this uh this palm's going to look great by the pool there somewhere so anyways guys like i said i was going to keep this short thanks for watching i'll uh start uploading some more update videos in the garden i planted a couple of more more uh, banana trees or plants and uh, we'll take a look at those in the next video and then I'll go around and uh, talk about some of the palms I, I, uh, I have and where they're from and all that. Okay, thanks guys. I always appreciate you watching. Hope everybody's doing really well. Um, it's Monday right now and the sun's shining and uh, let's quickly check the temperature like I usually do. I believe it's like 20, okay, 25.3. So that's like I think that's 77 Fahrenheit. So that's in the shade. Uh, so yeah, we'll definitely take it. It's still early in the day, so probably get closer to 30 at some point. But uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Again, have a great day, and uh, we'll definitely talk soon. Cheers.